when I was seven, I went to the bowling alley to get my first pet. And I got a gerbil, a little blonde gerbil. It was really cute. And I was playing with him at this desk. And I noticed he started to run towards the edge. And he was going to fall. So I didn't think to put my hand underneath the table to catch him or to pick him up and put him back. I thought to put my tummy up against the table to create a barrier. Um, and I snapped his neck. <laughs> and not only was he my first pet, he was my first murder. <laughs> so I started crying and screaming and my mom got me another one that looked just like him and she put him in a box so I wouldn't kill him. I love uh, stand-up comedy because um, it, it plays into the public speaking, but I also always wanted to do stand-up because it, it takes that aspect as well as making people laugh, which is something I have always loved to do when I was younger and started writing jokes. I guess what makes me comfortable with it is the fact that it doesn't make other people comfortable. Public speaking is the number one fear in America and death is number two. <laughs> so I always really liked the fact that I was just comfortable with it. Like, it, I don't really get bothered by what people think of me. Um, you can. I've only performed at OU, and OU is a fairly white collar, very middle class, upper middle class, mostly white. So, um, are you afraid of bombing at all? Uh, you know, what what do you think that would be like if you did completely bomb? No, I'm, I'm terrified of bombing. Uh, it's I've been told it's one of the worst feelings you can ever feel because it's not only public speaking, but it's public speaking with a purpose. Um, I've been told the personality that you portray doing stand up is the personality that you hate your hate about yourself the most. And I guess that's true because my character on stage is sort of non-feeling. 